Welcome back YouTube. I have a drop off from a good friend of mine as well as some goodies that my sister got me. Let's go check them out. So here we have a bunch of good stuff. I'll start with my buddy quick. Still working on this Mustang and I'm gonna start another one soon for him. He said just radical custom go crazy. And there's that 33 Ford, but he came up on some Zamax. Grabbed an extra set and was like, hey, let me stop by. I want to give these to you. So thank you very much for that. And I can't wait to get that other Mustang done and uh, have a nice little video showing that off as well. And now we got all of these. Oh my goodness, where do I even begin? So I get a phone call from my sister and she's like, hey, I'm in an antique shop and they got tons of die casts. So, you know, we get on FaceTime and uh, we have to see what they got. So, I guess we'll start over here. We got the green light Club V Dub 68T2 panel. Pardon me, not panel, double cab with an Indian motorcycle. 1920 Indian Scout. Now, I believe the 1920 Indian Scout. Is the same motorcycle in the world's fastest Indian movie. If you've not seen that movie, I recommend it. Very good movie. Burt Monroe. But this is now my second green light. That's one from a student. And this. And I gotta say, I've been passing on these green lights when I go to Hobby Lobby. I mean, I go to Hobby Lobby maybe once every four months. You know what I mean? And I've passed on these. To be honest with you, the quality... The detail, these things are nice, man. I might need to start picking up some. So we were able to get that. She knows one of my dream cars is a Carmen Ghia. And I don't have too many Carmen Ghia castings. As a matter of fact, I have this Maisto from the Tow and Go. I have this custom one that I got in a eBay fleet. And these are type 14 Carmen Ghias that everyone knows. And then I bought like 10 of these Type 34 Carmen Ghia convertibles. This was before I was on YouTube. This was before I called myself a die cast collector. This was before I was customizing. I was like, you know, we didn't get these in America. They never made a convertible model. I think it's a pretty cool car. And uh, I don't know. I just kept grabbing them because, I don't know, something in my mind told me that one day I'm going to do something with these. And I've already customized one of them. So, very cool to have this Johnny Lightning 1965. It's green with some silver roof action. Let me get a better grip on that. Hard to see through the bubble there, but got the front grill detail, the indicators, the trim down the side, nice tail light action. Just a beautiful casting. Then I was talking about square bodies um, and Johnny Lightnings, and I was like, man, there's this awesome yellow Zinger one. And the guy's like, I got it. So through FaceTime, I was talking to this uh, die-cast dealer at this uh, antique shop, and he's like, yeah, I got it. He even cut the price down from 15 to 10. He actually cut the price down on everything you see here. I mean, he was marking down prices and he gave 10% off for buying in bulk. So this all ended up being like 40 bucks, which, you know, when you got 10, 20, 28, just in this alone, that makes everything here even better, you know, but gotta love the yellow square one, one of about 7,000, 73 Cheyenne. Now I had done a El Camino Zinger for Toy Guys, Hank, and, uh, you know, these zingers are actually pretty cool. I've been passing up on them. I love that Driftwood uh, Woody Wagon passed on that. It was like, eh, I don't know. But now that I'm on a square body kick after restoring one, I just can't help myself. So I was talking about it. The guy's like, I got it. You want it. I'll cut the price down for you. So very cool of him i'm definitely gonna go check that place out next time i'm down visiting my sister so 
definitely more to come from there when the time comes. Let's go over some main lines. This awesome Continental, black with the red interior, the five dot wheels. I actually really like those wheels. Um, I like a lot of the older wheels that Hot Wheels discontinued, oddly enough. But I had the white with the red interior as a kid, and I mean, I just like long, low, sleek, sexy cars. So that was a cool find for two bucks. Then we got the race team, Chevy Silverado. Where does it say that? 1500, so 90s K1500, kind of a, a truck oval track, or you know, like a NASCAR truck series. But older Hot Wheels logo on there, a couple other things in there, so super cool. Good year. So that was a good one as well. Then, this Got Milk Dairy Delivery. Our mom likes cows. My sister's like, well, we gotta buy it. So he wanted five bucks, he dropped it down to two. Actually, I think he said that, you know, once he took everything off, a lot of these $2 cars ended up being like $1. Whatever, dude, they're all a good deal. And then we got this cool little thing, the Mo Scoot. And I had this as a kid. And my sister instantly recognized it too, going through some of his stuff. He had some, we'll call them kitty castings. And she's like, hey, we had this as a kid and I'm gonna buy it for you for $1. So it's just funny to see something that you had played with as a kid in its original package and uh, you know, virtually untouched. So. That is super cool. Then being into Volkswagens, of course, she saw this. It's the concept of the new Beetle. And I like those older Matchbox twisty wheels. Those are pretty cool. Being that our dad had one of these when they came out, you know, she's like, hey, I wanna get that for you. Another oval window variation. We got, looks like a red interior in there. Black, we got the two-tone kind of like a three-tone, four-tone, crazy graphics going on, staggered fives, hard to really, yeah, hard with that black cast in the, there we go, kind of see the oval window in the back, so she knows I collect that casting, she wanted to get that, and then I did not have this color variation of the Beetle pickup, she's like, well, it looks good, so I'm going to get it for you, and did I just have a bulb go out, what is going on, <laughs> sorry about that guys, but you know, all in all, a cool haul. Dude really uh, hooked us up with some good pricing and all that other good stuff. And very cool of my buddy to hook it up with some of the Zamax. He's like, hey man, I just found these and I didn't know if you had them. So I went and grabbed them anyways. So very cool, very cool. Well, I'm running out of space on my walls, but I need to find where I'm going to put some of these cars. And until then, I appreciate you all for watching. I appreciate my sister and my friend for the awesome cars. Thanks, guys. Peace.